Well, I think there's a kind of European kind of smugness where we look at America's kind of hysterical overreaction to the events of the 9th of November, and we go, thanks for that, America. Thanks. You've set us off on a course for the destruction of world civilization as we know it. Thanks for that. Thanks. But you mustn't hate the Americans, right? America is currently the most hated country in the world. Americans don't know that. They don't read or watch news. <laughs> if they did, they would be unhappy. <laughs> Osama bin Laden flew planes into the World Trade Center. It was a waste of time. If he'd really wanted to hit America hard where it hurts, he should have carpet bombed the country with a weapon that Americans would never be able to understand. World Geography Examination Papers. <laughs> Shops which don't have the word barn in their name. <laughs> and the metaphysical concept of shame. <laughs> but you mustn't hate the Americans. Don't hate them, Glasgow. Americans live in a kind of state of ignorant, prelapsarian bliss. They don't know what's going on. And because of that, it can be very relaxing to go to America and watch them. If you go to America and you look at Americans in their natural habitat, uh, the theme park, the shopping mall, the race riot, the high school massacre. <laughs> and you watch them walking around, looking at colours and shapes <laughs> and lights and words sometimes imagining what the words might mean. <laughs> it's very relaxing, guys. It's like watching carp in a pond in a stately home. Uh, their mouths opening and closing. It's charming. <laughs> but you mustn't hate the Americans. They're not a naturally curious people. Most Americans do not own passports. They're not a naturally curious people. If you were to lock an American for 60 years in an empty underground bunker, which contain nothing except a woolly tea cosy. The American would not even be curious enough to be tempted to see if the tea cosy would make a serviceable hat. <laughs> They're far more likely to arrest the tea cosy and turn it illegally in Guantanamo Bay and then repeatedly anally rape it until such time as it admits that it was actually a member of an Al-Qaeda training cell. <laughs> Even though at the time of the alleged offence, the tea cosy was actually working as a shop assistant in a branch of Curry's in Wolverhampton. 